We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. That Bentley, always thinking. his place with a waypoint. Thank you. 
I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get them or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. <laughs> Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I, But I won't chatter with the likes of you on so blessed a subject. Get out of me sight, landlubber! All my years I only spoke of the gold and kindness with me partner. Can you tank on a stem? Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whore lover! I'm corking with me cutlass! Hard on the tonsils, I assure you. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor.
see that, monkeys? I'll find you. Ha-ha! I've got you now! Run with your opposable thumbs! Dirty primates! Three devils! Simeon demons! Stone Jake's in position! Drop Acre! Banana eaters! Monkeys! Huh? Huh? I'll find you! I'll curse a dirty primates! Three devils! Oh. 
the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Keep your watch about your net. 
Stay sharp. <laughs> sharp as Max. Sharp as a pin. Sharp as a tack. Sharp as a... Uh, I don't know. Gotta keep alert. Alert. Ah! Oh, I know it. Tis true. An agent of Thames come for revenge. Chase him down. He's got Tim's hat. Take that, scallywag! Avast! You won't take me! What's your skylock into you, young pups? Avast there! You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield! I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you! the full cantankerous Tim disguise. Head on back to Black Spot Pete and pretend to be his old partner. And remember your pirate accent this time. Treasure. Arr. How about a round of vinegar talk first, you baboon face toilet? I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. <laughs> You're a stupid, twisted waste of skin. Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a sheep brained duck billed cow pie. Oh, really? You're a pig breath? Knuckle Dragon Angerhead. That be true enough, but you're a blathering puss face swabber. You are a idiotic, clam tongued piece of filth. Ha! You swear like a child! You're a mumbling, barnacle-backed cabin boy! You're a bleating, cross-eyed sack of maggots! Ha ha ha! But methinks you're a donkey-eared, toothless whale fart!
Oh yeah? You're a parrot-loving, grog-abusing bag of vomit. Ha <laughs> ha! Cantankerous Tim, it must be you. Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Remy Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul, that. Uh, speak of it while drunk off. You and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lords. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefui's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man on the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map and the death as well. If you go for the treasure shipmate, you go alone. Missy Ferranti is alone behind you. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy-palmed bottom feeder. <laughs>
Okay, Penelope, I'm in a position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest, anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for slime? It's just not fair. What was that? I didn't reach you. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it! The data's coming in. It's caching in the spectrometer's matrix. What matter of witchcraft is that? Ah, well, best to shoot first and then ponder later. Ah, the pieces are still intact! The disk is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken, and I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. The disk will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! What if we can read the disk's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC car to go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as a disk and should be able to download its contents. That's it! Use the car to recover all of the data and then we'll know where to strike inside the Skull Keep. Nice driving, Penelope. I'm registering a partial download from that portion of the disk. Hold on, hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east facing windows. Let's go. guy is really on it. He must have seen the disc and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. 
You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just a field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flag poles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, oh sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. be able to bomb the support to that upper walkway. Shh! That must be Lafui. Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agreed. I'll tell you something by thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But, sir, tis gone. Them bridges is up and all's as clear as morning. Sure, sure. Every man's entitled to their opinion. But I don't want to hear no more of them. I can make Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to Captain of the Guard. Th thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. No, sir. I mean, I, I, sir. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. This must be it. 
I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. I've got your spanners and I'm on my way back. Great! But I think I've already got it. This is it! The Dagger Island treasure map. Ah! My eyes! I can't see some kind of blinding dust. Whoa! I'm okay, but I think I fell down near the front door. I can't get back to the safe house with the bridge is still raised. I'll save you! I'll, I'll think of something! Perfect! I'm sure she won't mind if I take the turret off her car. Hurry, Bentley! I'm getting kind of scared here. Hang tight! I've got a new and improved grapple cam on the way! This dust is really nasty! I can't see a thing! Penelope, the pulleys holding up the bridges were too tough to take out with my sleep darts, so I upgraded my grapple cam with one of your RC turrets. I should be able to blast them to pieces. Side and make sure that dust has no permanent effects.
Okay, Murray, I need you and Sly to blast the rudders off all the galleons in port. When their boat's disabled, the pirates won't be able to chase after us when we sail for Dagger Island. What about those boats out there at anchor? They look ripe for a breaking. Don't worry about it. The pirates won't have time to row out and get them rigged before we're gone. Besides, once you start shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to show up. That sounds like a job for a man of my many destructive habits. You said it. Take out the harbor patrol, and there'll be no one left to chase after us when we appropriate a pirate boat. It looks like Sly's done unlocking the jolly boat. Good luck, sailor. Okay, boys, Murray Rose and Sly mans the cannon. Hold down the R1 button to charge the shot and shoot farther. Let go if you want to fire. The Harbor Patrol has arrived. They look pretty well armored. Is this cannon gonna cut it? You're right, Sly. Murray needs to ram them with your jolly boat to knock off the armor. All right! I'm tired of dodging cannonballs. Time to crack some skulls, jolly boat style. Once Murray has knocked off the armor, you'll need to sink him with a well-placed cannonball. Run in fear, Harbor Patrol sissies. I'm gonna ram you into next week. He's clean, ready to shoot. Nice shot, Sly! He's down to wood. Yeah! Armor's gone. Nice. The armor's gone. Fly your own fire! This guy's clear. Good shot, pal! He's clean, ready to shoot. Nice. The armor's gone. The armor's gone. That's that, sucker! He's clean, ready to shoot. All right! The team of excellence, Murray and his faithful gunner Sly, kick butt yet again! Uh, sorry guys. I wasn't aware the Harbor Patrol had a cutter. You're not done yet. Gads, that thing is massive! Everything has a weak point. Just look at the mast. They've been patching it up for a while now. Sly's right! That mast will fall before our combined mightitude. No matter how many cannons they bring to bear, we will bear it. Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonballs. Or we can dodge. That works too.
rolling, sidekick! Hey, we would have been sunk without your rolling. When you guys are done making out, I'll see you back at the safe house. See. I've been looking forward to this. Every thief dreams of one day stealing a pirate ship. I don't know what it is, but it's like a total rite of passage. This is gonna be great. As you'll be the first on board, you might want to keep your enthusiasm quiet. If the Night Watch detects you, this whole place is going to get lit up with guards. The rest of the team won't stand a chance. Come on, pal. This is me you're talking to. I'm like a fourth degree black belt at this kind of stuff. Murray will meet you at the Jolly Boat, but remember, keep it quiet! Okay... <laughs> Looks like they mined the harbor after our last boat trip. Must have really spooked these guys. Take these guys out and keep it quiet. Okay guys, the coast is clear. Come on up. Roger! I'll start rowing people over! Okay, the rest of the gang is below deck. Let's fire this puppy up. Once we raise the sails and get underway, it won't be long before someone on shore raises an alarm. No problem! We wasted that harbor patrol! The coast is clear! You guys did a great job, but they still have cannons mounted up in Skull Keep. I figure it's long odds they get gun crews into position before we're out of range, but it's worth mentioning. Then let's make full sail for the mouth of the harbor. If you guys are ready, I say we do it now. Every second we dilly-dally just puts us at more risk. Agreed. Murray, take up the anchor. Bentley, get down below deck and adjust the ballast. I'll hoist the sails and get this thing moving. Okay, Sly, you're in command. Sailing is easy. Hold down on the L2 button to turn left and the R2 button to turn right. We're almost out of range. We've made it into open water! Slot, keep using the L2 button. 
button and R2 button to steer the ship. The wind around this archipelago consistently blows from the south. Maintain a good angle, or we won't be going anywhere fast. I've marked Dagger Island on the sea chart. Click the right analog stick to bring it up and get your bearings. with the cannons. If you fire at them from the front or behind, our cannonballs will do tons more damage as they travel the length of the enemy ship.
Now, uploading you the password. Port hole, spar hole. Sorry, shipmate. This is it. Follow the rest of the clues on the map to find the treasure. Sly, when you've got the right number of paces, stop and hit the circle button to get the next clue. Great. If you need to leave map mode for a while, don't worry about it. You just marked an X on the ground, which will make it easy to come back and pick up where you left off. While in map mode, you can use the right analog stick to scan your immediate area. It might be helpful to find this circle of palm trees mentioned in the clue. Dimitri, it's your loot. I think you should have the honor. Oh, I open with joy. You Cooper gang is a tight groove. Van Gogh bullseye. The primo diving gear to accentuate my deep down diving style. It's so intricate. Your grandfather was an artist. I've never seen such fine craftsmanship. He had the juice. Check it. The gear even matches my suit. I can dance, dive, and accessorize. What else is in this chest? Let's get a good look. <laughs> Avast, lover! Didn't think you could steal from the smartest man of the seven seas and not taste the repercussions. Har har har! I might have been late for the opening of the chest, but I'm just on time for the stealing of the gold. Let Penelope go. We can work out a deal. Penelope be the lass's name. Purty as a sonnet, and what a rich sweet scent from the wench's hair. <laughs> Let's thump this chump! No, he'll hurt her! This guy's a killer! Hey! You thumb me up with butter word! <gasps> killer! Away with ye! Back to your ship! This gold is mine now, for her death is yours! Take your choice! Guys, we don't have any options here. Everyone back to the ship. You can't just abandon me! Help! Please! I'm so scared! Penelope, do what he says! Stay alive! We will save you! I... I trust you. And I trust you still plan on logging back to your ship. Away with ye. Now! Clearly the only goal in this 
this point is saving our teammate and friend, Penelope. Left we ship, the Death's Head, has sailed back to Bloodbath Bay with her on board as captain. Things look grim. There's no way we'll be able to sneak into the harbor. Even the backside of the island is inaccessible due to reefs. To put it plainly, we're in for a fight. Left we is an intelligent opponent, and we'll need to do everything in our power to stack the odds in our favor. First, we'll put Dimitri's new diving gear to use by salvaging some weapons from a nearby shipwreck. We'll need the extra firepower to deal any kind of damage to the armor and forced death's head. It'll also come in handy for our second objective, destroying the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. They're a fleet of mercenaries on Lafouille's books. We need to surprise them now while they hunt for us in small groups. If they ever attacked in unison, there's no way we'd make it out alive. And finally, we'll set sail for the misty waters inhabited by a sea monster the pirates called Crusher. Reports on Crusher are sketchy, but we might learn something by analyzing its technique. I know for a fact that all of Lefui's men fear it. An impressive and useful trait, given our current situation. <laughs>